Vinci. And it's actually easier than it sounds, which is a very, very fine thing in a tune. Um, we'll start with the A part of this tune. I'll play it for you nice and slow so you can get it in your ear. you'll find that it's actually quite easy to remember. We're going to start with the first finger down on the E on the D string. So it's first finger on the D string. And then we're going up to the open A. Now since this tune is a jig, what that means is that each beat, each pulse, is divided in three, right? So instead of one and two and one and two, we've got one and a, two and a, one and a, two and a, or as I like to think of it, elephant, 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 elephant. Okay, so each group, each beat is going to have three notes in it. So we're going to be thinking in these groups of three. Our first group of three is just that. We play the E, we play two A's. Got it? Now, we're going to do that twice in a row. Alright. Now you might notice that I'm using a lot more bow on the first note of each group of three than I am on the other two. And that's an important thing to play around with and experiment with in terms of getting the feel of a jig. If I play all the notes evenly, it doesn't sound quite right. Um, what you need is you need an emphasis on the first in each group of three, and almost like a pulling back or a de-emphasizing of the second and third. The way I like to do that is to keep the rhythm just one, two, three, one, two, three with my bow, but change the, the speed so that I'm getting more bow on the first one. See what I'm doing there? So it's like a instead of down, up, down, up, down, up, it's like down and uh, up and uh. So that's something that you can work on. It doesn't happen right away, but you want to be aware of that and thinking about that in terms of getting the feel of the jig. For right now, though, we're just going to work on what's happening with your left hand. And we've already got that opening, right? We've got... Now the next thing that's going to happen is first finger on the A string, right? Playing B A B, and then down to third finger the G. Okay. Let's do that one more time just to be sure. Play that. Now let's string all that together. We've got you try it. And one more time. Good. Now the next thing that's gonna happen, remember remember how we started with first finger open string. We're going to do that same thing again, but we're going to do it starting on the A string going up to the open E. So we're going to have the B note, right? Got that? Now, instead of doubling that, we're going to do this. So those last three notes were E again. D, B, open three, one. Got that? Okay, right. now I'm going to put those two things together from the beginning. Um, I'll play a little bit and then you copy it. Now, next 
thing. Next little phrase, start on your third finger on the A string. And we're just going to go up the, up the scale. Okay, like that. Now I'm going to add a little bit. Did you see what happened there? All that's happening is we got to the G, and then we went back to the F sharp, and then back to the G. Okay, I'm going to go back and start at the very beginning, and play a little bit, and then you copy it. I'm going to put a little bit of, the way, I, the way I've been playing it here is a little bit simplified because usually I add a note before, I like to play a little A like as a pickup note into that. I'll play it from the beginning and see if, um, see if I can point out where it is. So. start on the open E and go down to the open A. And we're going to do... It's kind of just the inverse of what happened at the beginning, right? E, A, A, E, A, A. This time we're going E, A, A, E, A, A. And, you'll love this, next thing that happens... Just like before. So... And then, that's the same. And we go to the third finger, but remember the first half we went, not going to do that. We're going to go to the third finger and go down. starting on the open E. I'll play a little bit and then stop and you copy it. Yeah. Okay, now we're doing 
same thing with the whole A part. I'll play a couple beats, you play a couple beats, I'll play a couple beats. <laughs> play it um, without the pauses. I'm going to play nice and slow and you jump in.